Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft Teams in your mobile phone to repair for your online lesson. First, you find the Google Play icon to search for Microsoft Teams. Then, click Install. After that, you have to wait for the installation to be completed. Now, you can open the app. Here is the welcome screen from the Microsoft team. Now, you need to register Microsoft team account with an email that your university supplied you before. For example, in my situation, my university, Ho Chi Minh University of Food Industry, is supplied me with an email that ends at hufi.eu.vn for me to log in. Click Next and Next for the introductory slide of the Microsoft team to log in, in your classes. On my screen, I have two mixed things and some private conversation with my colleague. Now I search for my classes by clicking on the group icon. The classes are open up to you, then take an example the class research methodology that I have created for my students. They can go on the top file to download the syllabus and the learning material for their preparation at home. Congratulations, you have created the Microsoft Teams account for your learning online courses. It is too learning online is a little bit different from the traditional classes. In the traditional classes, your instructor will usually remind you when an assignment expectation is come. If you have any question, you can raise your hand, ask the question, and you might get an immediately respond. But an online classes is different in some important ways. And to be successful, you need to do things a little bit different. Let's take a quick look at the three things that you should do successfully to manage your online courses and stay motivated throughout the semester. First, you should carefully read the course syllabus. It is still a great information that many students unfortunately forget to read it and then wonder why they don't understand their assignment expectation. Important Tuesday thing that need to do. So you have to set a reminder for yourself. Successful students use a calendar to plan that manage their logging in and learning the online discussion and completing assignments for their online courses because they are struggling with all of the detection, for example the social network like Facebook, TikTok, etc. So make a plan to get organized and schedule for the time you are need to complete your online courses requirement and then stick to your plan. Thirdly, don't be stranger to your online courses. Be logging into your courses regularly, even the daily if possible. This is under another strategy successful online learner you logging in frequently. It is associated with higher trade for someone who logging in regular than the other. If you do this consistently, you will build valuable connection with the other students in the courses and opportunity for cooperation and collaboration and this will enrich your online learning experience. So let's review if you want to be successful. First, read your syllabus. Second, schedule your time to your calendar to study. Remember critical due date for your assignment, quizzes and tests. Third, log in frequently. If you do the three things, you will greatly increase your chances of doing well in your online courses and having a positive online learning experience. Good luck, thank you, and see you later.